All right. Well, I mean, Tyler, walk us through your season. Obviously, uh, join the Ice Dogs again for uh, your second year with the organization. But, I mean, how do you assess your year? How do you re-rack and, and refocus and build off of what was accomplished over the last uh, few months? I think it was a pretty crazy year. Uh, it was, uh, you know, a lot of ups and downs. There were some, some great things that happened, some great memories, like playing in an uh, exhibition game, uh, first exhibition game, playing my brother, um, to, you know, having some good winning streaks and, um, and some play down the stretch. Uh, battled some injuries throughout the year as well, so uh, there were some tough times there. But um, I think overall, just one of those years where you, you, you keep pushing and, and keep getting better. I'm, I'm fortunate to be able to do what I love, and I'm fortunate that it's uh, in an organization as great as uh, you know the Blackhawks and the Ice Hogs. There's probably times too where you, I mean you had to do double takes just to you know reassess where you are, and you went through a coaching change as well to toss that into the mix. I mean, is it hard to to focus as a hockey player with all that going on around you and and just trying to be competitive on a game to game basis? Well, I think there's a you know a large influx of guys coming through, like you said, from a coaching change to to new players and um, trades, call ups, injuries, and all that. So um, I think it's one of those years where you, you kind of you learn in pro hockey, you never know what to expect and um, you got to just, like you said, focus on your game and, and bring in whatever you can to the table in terms of, uh, in terms of the team and, uh, and on the ice and off the ice. So um, I think it's just, like I said, one of those years where uh, you never know what to expect and you, have, you need to take some time away and, and kind of remember all the things that happened throughout the course of the year. It seems like it goes by in a flash, but uh, so much has happened. From the season prior to now this year and your time with the Rockford Ice Dogs, I mean, where do you feel like your game grew, excelled? Where did you take the, the next big step to be a key contributor to this group? I think off the ice, um, I definitely took large strides in terms of stepping into a leadership role as much as possible, um, especially with some of the coaching changes and the guys coming in and out here. I tried to provide some stability off the ice and some of the culture along with uh, some of the other veteran guys. And um, I think I took big strides in terms of my game as well. Um, you know, it's never easy being out and coming back into the lineup, but I think especially towards the end of the year, I was um, playing my game and, and making plays and um, trying to contribute on all sides of the puck in whatever situation possible. It's nice to have the trust of the coaching staff to, to play some big minutes. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun playing meaningful hockey down the stretch. You earned the Rockford Ice Dogs Unsung Hero Award for the year, you and William Peltier, not to boast on yourself, but I mean, what do you feel like made you an unsung hero? Was it something you did away from the rank that maybe only a few people were able to see? Or ultimately, what tapped into that to, to see you receive that award and, and be recognized for it? Yeah, I, I try to uh, you know contribute, like I said, off the ice as much as possible, whether it be um, in the community or, or when I was injured and try to um, you know, be a player coach almost in a sense and, and help out in, in, you know, individually if guys are going through struggles or, um, or in terms of coaching staff, if I see something up top, then uh, maybe help out. And I think it's just a matter of bringing value, uh, whether you're in the lineup, out of the lineup, injured or not, um, around the room, try to do things to, to bring the guys together. And um, it's obviously a huge honor to be recognized. Um, because you know the on ice, the on ice stuff is easy for everybody to see, and and a lot of stuff that takes uh, takes place off the ice you don't get to see. So uh, to to be recognized with a guy like uh, Peltz, who's obviously character guy, team first guy, and and guy that everybody loves, is a big honor. Now focusing on the summer ahead for you, you and your brother, contract status up for grabs. Is that something that's on the front of your mind in, in terms of where you're going to place your focus and emphasis and, and how you're going to approach your training regimen? Or is that something that you leave to the agent and, and whatever happens, happens? Yeah, it's, it's one of those things I think when you've gone through it a couple of times, you understand a little bit better about what um, the process is like. And uh, it's a lot longer. And... Um, and can drag on longer than, than you hoped for. So, like you said, you can't really think about it, can't really focus on it too much. Obviously, it comes up in terms of the end of your conversations and everything, but um, I think I have a good relationship with uh, the management here, and, um, you know, I, I really enjoy my time here. I, I like it here, so um, uh, hopefully, you know, something works out where we can uh, make it a, a lasting relationship and, um, you know, bring some more wins to, to the Ice Hogs. And uh, my ultimate goal is still to, to play in the NHL. So I'm um, going to keep striving towards that goal and, and training and uh, going about my business as if uh, that's what I'm doing. 
With training being said, I mean, are, is that something you and your brother are going to do together? Do you go your own separate ways and have your own routines? And, and will you even be able to decompress and, and relive some of those great memories you made together? Because it's not every day you get a full season to spend with your brother, but uh, obviously you're both pushing to become better players moving into the next year. Yeah, I uh, try to figure out the training program now. I think um, last year, a couple of years we've been training together, uh, slightly different schedules, but at the same place, I think. Uh, this year it might be slightly different. I think he's going to live in the city, um, so we'll we'll kind of figure that out now. We got a lot of time to to train and, and to get ready, but we'll we'll still see each other obviously all the time, um, whether it be family dinners and and on the weekends and stuff like that. So uh, you know we'll be able to live some of, some of the good memories that we've had over this past year together, and uh, those things we'll we'll cherish for a long time. What do you like to do to decompress? Are you hitting the mountain bikes and going throughout the, the trails? Are you a fishing guy? What do you like to do to get away from the game of hockey before training and, and the weightlifting and the on-ice sessions ramp back up again? Uh, well, we'll see. i gotta uh, got to find a hobby here for, for the summer. I, I like to play music, so that'll probably be the main thing. that I'll focus on have time at home with the family. My sister just had uh, her baby, so I'll have the baby there, my girlfriend, family, and friends back home. Um, you know, probably hit the golf course a couple times, and um, like you said, just just try to escape the game a little bit and and come back refreshed for next year. I understand you picked up the guitar rather quickly. Is that something that you're looking to advance a little bit further along? And uh, I guess there was an unofficial gig not all that long ago. Um, how's that been going? And obviously, I, I'd imagine that's a, a pretty challenging thing to put your mind to. Yeah, that's that's kind of my escape from hockey during the year. I got the uh, the guitar set up in the basement, and the piano, and got the new pedal and everything so um, you know it's, it's fun to do stuff like that away from the rink and to be able to bring some of the guys into it with uh, Terry and Mikey over at the the brewery the other day was was pretty fun I think it was one of those things that kind of you know when you think back over the course of the year there's a lot of games and um, you know you remember obviously the on ice stuff but some of the stuff that sticks in your mind I think the most is the off ice stuff so um, you know that was that was a fun night and uh, something that it was a little bit out of the comfort zone for, for a couple of the guys, so it was nice to be able to experience that and um, have those memories and those bonds.